Then what happened, Sam? Um, he then, I think he was in and out of the house for two, three months, and then he went missing completely. For good? Yeah. How long's it been? Uh, three years. Three years? No word? No. <laughs> Well, who knows? Perhaps he's shacked up elsewhere. <laughs> Perhaps he's got a whole family. I don't know. I suspect there's... People call it the CSA. There's probably a cat support agency looking for him somewhere. That's yes? That's my point. If he was microchipped and neutered, perhaps this would never have happened. Well, that's your, your, the point that you, you, you make, yes. But here's the thing. When he disappeared once, twice, third time, and thought you'd lost him, when you went for that last occasion, that was incredibly serious to you, Sam. Yes. And you didn't come back after the first few weeks. What did you do, Karen, Sam, to try and get him back? Uh, we went round in our cars, putting, putting up posters, asking neighbours. You describe it as devastating. Yeah. Well, how bad was it? just wasn't the same without him. Just, he didn't really feel like a pet. It just felt like he was like another human living in our house. It was just when empty. When he showed up. When he showed up, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true? Yes, very true. And it's been three years? Yes. Do you still have hope that he'll come back 100%, one day? 100%, yeah. And the new cat, what's the cat called? Dorothy. Oh, I'm a friend of hers, yes. <laughs> ah, there's Dorothy. <laughs> Now, you love Dorothy, clearly, but how does she compare, in your She's mind, to... She's not a comparison, just... Why so? Just felt lonely, obviously, after Norman, but she's, not, she's nothing compared to Norman.